Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. So we got the uh, Cheerson CX-20 up in the air finally. We got it uh, carrying the weight of a 360 camera. But I tell you what folks, I'm not sure if I got this right or not. But this thing's not doing a good job at altitude hold. So I'm having to adjust it. It's kind of holding its place in three-dimensional space pretty good. Um, but I'm just wondering, so GPS hold, zero, um, I don't know, what happens if I click it, you know, if I click it to one, it goes up. Uh, altitude hold is one, but it, this doesn't have a self-centering stick, sort of like the Wakira. So it seems to be holding its altitude now. I don't like that non-self-centering stick stuff because, see it lose altitude? Uh, it's also braking is a little bit limited compared to the Phantoms. I don't think it's as smart as the Phantoms. You know, it's supposed to have an APM controller in it. And... Uh, You know, it's a little bit windy out here today, so it is buffeting a little bit of the wind. This thing's also making some noise when I push the stick up. It takes a little bit. It's sort of a notched movement on the stick. And uh, because I do have GPS, a GPS lock was gained pretty easy. And so I just want to take it out and fly it. Fly it around a little bit and see how it does. I don't have video recording going on it. I just want to see if it's going to carry the weight first off. And just see how it performs. Kind of get used to flying it a little bit. Now it's flying backwards. It's sort of doing its own thing there. I want to take it up a little bit. Yeah, it's doing its a little bit of its own gyration. I have it in GPS hold. I have it in one. Now it's locked back in there again, and it's sort of staying in, in space. But I tell you what, I'm not overly impressed by its GPS abilities. Uh, from what I saw on the internet, I thought it would be much better. I want to be careful bringing it towards me. I don't trust it. See, that thing's drifting. So I'm not doing anything to it. And you can see the drift on it. That's in GPS mode. So I did a compass calibration on it too before uh, flying, but it's still, it still, to me, it, it looks like it's still got a fair amount of toilet bowling. Look at it swish around like that, even after the compass calibration, and it, it you can see it's a, uh, it's a losing altitude. See, yeah, it's, it's really toilet bowling on itself. And it's down, and I'm going to lock out the propellers. So, i tell you what, guys. I'm not impressed with the Cheerson. Um, I had bigger hopes for it than, uh, than what I saw. And uh, uh, so far, I think it's disappointed me. So, I don't know. I don't know. i got to see how this one goes. So, anyways, subscribe buttons are going to be coming up. Let me know if you got a Cheerson. Let me know how it performs for you, what you think of it. Uh, that little flight was very unimpressive, especially after I went through and set it all up and everything. So, uh, let me know in the comments below. What you, let me know in the comments below what you think down over there. And, or, no, comments are down below. Subscribe is going to be over there. And lunch today, peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. Alright, cheers. See you guys in the next video.